Hello everyone, this is Raheel, and today I'll be showing you how to make responsive designs with the Responsify plugin in Figma. So, to get the Responsify plugin, just run Manage Plugins uh, in the File Manager, and uh, just search up Responsify. And uh, you'll get many options here, uh, two mobile options, a tablet option, a desktop option, and a watch option. I highly recommend actually starting from the smallest of your device type. Uh, if it's mobile then I, um, and you're trying to go desktop, don't start with desktop and then go to mobile. Uh, it might just be a little bit harder for you. Uh, that's just in my experience, but uh, you're free to do what you like, whatever you want with this plugin. This is my calculator app design here, and I want to go to mobile. Um, not a great choice for me, uh, but I just want to see how it will work out. And uh, I would just select this desktop and uh, run the Responsify plugin. So we want these to be constrained uh, some part in the frame. Uh, so if we don't set the constraints, uh, they'll just go to wherever they'd like. And if you don't know what a constraint is, it's an option over here that says where these elements will be placed uh, relative to the frame itself, well, relative to inside of the frame. So if I put this in the top right, whatever size the frame is, this will always be on the top right corner. Uh, and if I want all of these to stay uh, centered, then I would simply just press center or uh, left and right on the constraints. So um, if I, I have all of these buttons set to the bottom right, this set to the top right, and this set to the bottom left. And because of this, if I were to run the Responsify plugin and go to mobile, everything is constrained where it should be. Now I don't actually want this uh, free trial button here, so I'm just gonna remove that out of every frame. What What's happened as soon as I removed all these is you can see that everything is constrained as it was meant to. So if I separate this desktop just out a little, and uh, let's say I want to select all of the values, including the equals, the division, multiplication, and uh, let's say I want to scale it down, and which I do. Uh, that's basically what I wanted. Uh, what, what, what I basically wanted it to do. Um, but if you resize text in Figma, it doesn't actually resize the font size. So I could just hold the command key and then hold the shift key and select all the digits and essentially just turn their font size down. If I do that right now, yeah, that's a, that appears to be good. So as you can see, we made a quick responsive design um, really, really quickly without actually uh, needing to port over anything. Obviously, this is not an ideal calculator, but uh, this seems to uh, work just fine for what we need now. Um, it's not exactly perfect, uh, just because if you try to rescale the text, then you have to actually change the font size itself. But if you're just dealing with icons, like for example, uh, this plus and multiplication division, they're all icons, um, then you can simply just uh, scale them down accordingly as needed. And that's pretty much all I have to showcase today. This is a really great plugin. I highly recommend you install it. I'll have the link in the description uh, for you to install. If you did like this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this type of content. See ya!